So hey guys welcome back today's video is all about how to speak english fluently with confidence and uh, first of all this video is in english for the obvious reason and uh, this video is for all of those students who can read and write english and uh, can't able to speak english fluently with the other person and can't converse so these are the tips which i used to follow to improve my english speaking skills gradually because this is a gradual process you can't uh, just improve your english in just a night you need to practice a lot and that practice will takes you to the next level of speaking english and one disclaimer again that i am not a pro in speaking english i am also just you like you guys i am also improving my spoken english by practicing these tips which today i'm going to share with you so now let's get started but before that if you haven't subscribed to my channel success with sanskar yet just go ahead click on that subscribe button and for more such videos just press that bell icon also because whenever i will upload new video you will get instant notification of that video now let's get towards our video so first let's talk about to be noted point which you should note before starting your practice of spoken english so the first point is why to learn spoken english that what's the need to learn english when we already know our mother tongue hindi and we can converse it in hindi with other people so that's the genuine point yes but uh, why we need to learn english because english is the widely accepted language because if you visit any country outside india they high chances are that they the person there know english because for let's take an example if you visit france and the person there speaks french so and you know hindi so how you can converse with that person high chances are that they, the that the person there already know english so if you also know english you can converse with with that person in english so what the common way to converse it there is english so that's why the first reason is that widely accepted language is english because you can converse it with any country's person in english irrespective of their mother tongue language okay now the second reason is that the harsh reality of today's world that if you have knowledge but you don't know how to express that knowledge in english then according to the companies you are useless yes that's the harsh reality if you know how to speak english fluently and you have little knowledge than the person than the other person who knows better than you but he can't able to speak in english so high chances are that uh, the company will hire you not that person so it's the harsh reality and uh, i am not in a support of this because it's just a language we don't have a right to judge someone on their english spoken skills but today's word is all about this only so this these are the main reasons which uh, convince us to learn spoken english now second is yaar that how we can speak in english is the confidence because if you lack confidence you can't able to speak uh, in front of around 10 to 15 people let's leave 10 to 15 you can't able to speak in only two to three people also so what you need to first do is to develop confidence you can relate this with your life also because if you are at home alone you are alone at your home you can speak english very confidently without any issue you can speak okay but when there is a turn to speak in front of around 2 to 3 people so you can't able to speak a single word you can't utter a single word so that's what is the importance of confidence because there is a sudden drop of confidence if you are in front of around 2 to 3 person only okay so the first thing you need to improve your english fluency is to build the confidence because confidence is the key because if you can grip or uh, you can make a strong grip on that confidence you can easily speak any language not only english you can if you are learning any uh, other country language also you can easily build that confidence to speak that english in front of more than 15 20 also you can if you build that much confidence you can even speak in front of 100 to 1000 people also so that's what the importance of confidence you which the tips which today i'm going to speak with you will share with you you if you follow these tips you can easily boost up your confidence and you can improve your english fluency to the next level okay now third point is don't be a translator in your mind 
think and speak both in english so that's the problem with all of us that what we do is first we think about certain sentence or certain word in hindi then we translate that word into english and then we speak that word in english so that's the completely wrong approach first of all it's the time consuming uh, if you talk with someone let's take an example if you are talking with me and first you thinking about the word in hindi then you converting them into english then you are speaking so you can count that how much time it will take to speak your words in front of me so you don't need to do this yeah it's take a lot of practice to completely think in english and then speak in english but you can easily do so by following certain things like you can read daily english newspaper you can watch english uh, movies without subtitles that will help you a lot in uh we can say thinking in english as well as speaking in english the this is the most important point which you need to consider before starting your practice of spoken english next point is don't use fancy words though we in a tendency uh, to use fancy words we always we want to showcase our improved vocabulary with someone uh, let's take an example you re uh, read today's newspaper you see some fancy word there of uh, being so beautiful you can uh, use that word you can use that vocabulary word so what you do whenever you conversate with the person there you use that fancy word and you think that this give a very good impression of yourself in front of that person but you are wrong always use common words which are widely accepted because you are not conversating to show off your skills of vocabulary skills you are conversating to express your feelings or express your words by the medium english to the person you are conversating with so you need to just follow certain common words to express yourself though it's a good habit to learn some new words but don't over boast yourself that you know uh, various vocabulary words which are fancy no don't do this just use common words if you see certain podcast or certain important talks on youtube you are able to see that the person they are always use common words so that what you need to do if you even conversating with some person okay next topic is don't next point is don't be in a hurry to speak what we do it's i am also doing this at the early stage that i always speak in a hurry whenever i speak in english with someone i always in a hurry i keep my pace fast so that uh, the person there don't notice if i uh, do something wrong or i spoke something wrong grammar okay so you need to just take care that you have to keep your pace low always uh, uh sp speak slowly so that you can also you can always remember some new words whenever you speak whenever you conversate and if you keep your pace low the person which whom which you are conversating with have a good impression that yeah you have a good english speaking skills and you are conversating in a very good manner and what you trying to uh, express or what you trying to explain that person the person can easily understand that thing so always keep your pace low to improve your efficiency efficiency in english spoken language okay so now let's talk about step by step guide which you need to follow in your daily life to improve your english fluency but first of all remember one thing that uh, learning speak spoken english and uh, speaking english fluently is not a day to day task you need to follow this on your daily basis these tips are the crucial tips which you need to follow to improve your spoken english whatsoever english i am speaking today is resultant of these tips which i follow in my early life so you need to also follow these tips which will help you in building that confidence building that structure of the paragraph which you are going to speak in a conversation with someone okay so the first thing is talk to yourself in english on any topic so what you need to do is uh, take any topic for example if you are going to purchase any smartphone or a laptop just take it an example and uh, just speak on that with yourself you can do so by sitting in front of mirror also you can do so by just recording yourself okay so you need to just talk about any topic for around 3 to 4 minutes don't worry about grammar so if you are the person who thinks about grammar while speaking english that's the wrong approach because in starting we are not perfect to speak english uh, with the grammatical proficiency so you need to just speak in english whatsoever words are coming in your mind just spoke that words on any topic 
okay so that will help you uh, grow some sort of confidence which will help you in the later stage okay so first step is to just speak with uh, talk with yourself to improve your confidence and you can take any topic okay any day to day topic your school life your college life any topic you can take and just speak off on to that topic for around 2 to 3 minutes okay so now second point is record your voice in sound recorder and it's one of the crucial point for improving yourself okay so whenever you speak to yourself whenever you talk to yourself on any topic just hold your smartphone in your hand and record your voice so what's the importance of this point that whenever you record your voice and after recording it when you listen it you are able to judge that what mistakes are you committing in speaking English so whenever you do this practice you came to know that there are certain mistakes and after knowing that mistakes you can improve that and after improving these mistakes on a daily basis you can improve your spoken English a lot and that's what I do a lot to improve my English speaking skills gradually and that's one of the crucial step which you need to follow to improve your also okay so now third point is quite interesting and i used to do this a lot what you do is you need to talk with customer care in english you need to just call any company's customer care and there is an option to choose between english or hindi just choose english and conversate with the person in english okay so doing this will help you in it first of all it's give you an instant relief of uh, talking with someone who are good at english and second it will boost your confidence of your spoken english do this and uh, i'm give i can give you a guarantee that you can experience a great great improvement in your spoken english okay now fourth point is talk to your close friends or parents in english and this point gave you a direct result of your conversation so whenever you are in a call with your close friend or whenever you sit with your parents in a conversation just try to speak in english so if you are speaking in english with your close friend tell them to please give the feedback that how i am speaking in english are there any grammatical mistake are there any uh, fumble mistake because in the starting we used to fumble a lot okay so just tell them to give feedback so whenever they give feedback improve that uh, mistakes and uh, doing this on a daily basis will help you in improving your spoken english okay so after doing all these four points you need to follow next point which is give free speeches so what's different between this first point and this fifth point in this speech you need to take care of grammar also okay so and also you have to speak for around 10 to 15 minutes i'm not saying to speak in front of thousands of people i'm not saying even to speak in front of one to two people just speak on your own in front of mirror and also record this speech in your sound recorder and doing this will help you analyze yourself that uh, what happen if you have a chance to speak in front of someone for around 10 to 15 minutes so first of all it's give you it gives you an immense satisfaction it gives you an immense boost in your confidence okay so do this and share your experience in the comment section okay now next thing is try to speak in english when you visit any restaurant or fast food chain give your order in english so this point is quite self-explanatory i don't need to explain this to you so whenever you visit any restaurant or any fast food chain just give your order in english and try to conversate with the receptionist in english okay do this and also share this experience also and next is at last speak in english in front of 10 to 15 people so after following all these points uh this will help you to gain immense confidence and uh, I can give you a guarantee that if you do or follow these important points on a daily basis, last point will like a cake walk for you. Okay. So what you need to do is you after doing these points for around one to two months, if you are at a public gathering or there are around 10 to 15 people around you, just try to speak only in English in front of 10 to 15 people. So there are two outcomes of these. First, maybe you can't able to speak for around one to two minutes only. So that's normal. It's okay. 
don't take it in your heart that uh, you are not able to speak for even one to two minutes also that's common and second outcome is maybe you can speak exceptionally well in front of those people so first of all it's give you immense satisfaction and second that's the final stage of your english spoken proficiency test which you are giving to yourself okay so just follow all these steps on a daily basis because one disclaimer is again i'm going to give you that this english proficiency or we can say spoken english proficiency is not a day-to-day -day task you need to follow this on a daily basis and after for around six to seven months you can experience a great improvement in your spoken english it's my personal guarantee so follow these points and that's it for this video i hope you find this video quite helpful so share this video with all your friends and for more such daily videos subscribe to my channel and we'll see you soon in the next one till then have a nice day